Thank you, Father. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Whether the prayer using the nation of Russia and China as a point of conduct against the work of the enemy in the last days. Of course, say that we should pray that the word of God will have a free cause and be glorified in our generation. Not in our watch will certain countries and continents be overtaken by the power of the end. So we will play our part to pray for the nations of the earth. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 1. For suppose they finally pray and pray for us. The word of the Lord may have a free cause and be glorified, even as it is with you. In Nigeria, in certain places, the word of God has a free cause and is glorified. That was Paul saying, pray that it will be everywhere, even as it is here. There are countries like China, like Russia, like believers, and not allowed to gather. Bible is prohibited. And a lot and a lot of laws and decrees has been formulated and they are anti-church, anti-Christ. Can we have the prayer point? Lift your hands to them and say, Father, we use Russia and China as point of contact. Let the gospel of Jesus spread and have a free curse across the nations of the earth and be glorified. We command all laws, verdicts, legislations that are anti-Christ be reversed now. Be overturned with the government and human faces behind them in the name of Jesus. Open your mother, pray for China, pray for Russia as a point of contact to every other continent, every other country that they are bringing up policies, they are bringing up laws that are anti church and anti Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus that those laws shall not stand those laws can never come to pass we declare such laws and their governments overturn we command the human faces behind such laws let them go down in the name of jesus we pray that the gospel of our lord jesus will spread and have a free course across the nations of the earth and be glorified and be glorified and be glorified. Le bashakata leke de masanta laba. He prente re masakata laba gado. He prente la mama masakata leke dia. He broke the shakata leke de masenta laba. He broke the masakata leke dia. Let the gospel of our Lord Jesus let it spread across the nations of the earth and let it be glorified. Let the gospel of our Lord Jesus let it spread across the nations of the earth. Let it be glorified. Every law, every verdict, every legislation and policies that are anti Christ, we command them reverse. We command them overturn. With the government and human faces behind them, let it be reversed. Let it be overturn. Let Prasha Kataria, let Preteke Telem Bragadia, Pondolamama Shaka Tala Bragadia, Pondolamama Mama Shaka Tali Bragadia, and Blogodo Shaka Telia, and Bakata Rama Shaka Tal, and Bragadama Shaka Tali Gadia, in Koroma Shaka Tal, he shall not stand, he shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, authorities taking advantage of the coronavirus to inflict hardship and wickedness on the masses. One of our boys here, who works in the oil and gas, said he got briefly information from his boss. He somehow in love with his boss. That they have already decided to drop thousands of people from his workplace. But the boss just highlighted him and told him to pray. Though his name in the new list is among the foremost ones to be returned, but his boss said he pray. Now they discovered that during this pandemic that they can still do 100 percent production but with less staff. 
So they suddenly decided that some of these stamps are not necessary. Let's put them off. Do you know the untold hardship that will be inflicted on families if such continue? We reverse it today. Let's go ahead. Second prayer point. If you're a businessman, you have to pray. You may not work. If you're in Korea, I was talking to somebody before I came out, that certain nations have re, uh, re instructed or commanded that there will be another lockdown. In some countries, there is another lockdown. So we, it must not come to Nigeria. I say it must not come to Nigeria. The demon of coronavirus died and we will turn it back to hell in the name of Jesus. Can we have the prayer point? Everybody open your mouth and say, Father! Father! Shout it loud, say, Father! Father! Can we have the proper prayer point, please? Let's open and say, Command every demon of coronavirus and the scorching effect of coronavirus over the nations of the earth to be reversed and the demon behind it die in the name of Jesus. Every demon of coronavirus, we command it die out of the nations of the earth. We command the scorching effect of it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every demon behind coronavirus, we command you die and pass out of the surface of the earth. We command the scorching effect of coronavirus die across the nations of the earth. Die across the nations of the earth. Die across the nations of the earth. Every scorching effect of coronavirus, every demon behind coronavirus, we command you die back to hell, 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 die back to hell. We command the scorching effect of coronavirus across the nations of the earth. Be reversed now. Be reversed now. Be reversed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient one. Changing me. Yeah, we are and 
mighty name we pray holy spirit tonight let everyone be implicated by this service for good 
Let your goodness be experienced in the life of somebody. Let your good blessings that Jesus purchased for us be what we will enjoy after tonight by your power. Let everything bad that followed us to this service, let it give way for good. In the name of Jesus Christ, we receive your word with joy, with understanding and revelation. In Jesus' name we pray. And every believer say, Amen. Amen. You may please be seated. The prophets of power, part three. The prophet, the gains of power, part three. In 1 Corinthians 4, verse 20, the Bible says, The kingdom of God is not in words, it is words, but in power. And if you read Luke 17, 21, the Bible says that the kingdom of God is within us. So when you're born again, the kingdom of God is born within you. And the Bible says that kingdom of God born within you is not just in world. That kingdom of God born within you is in power. The prophet of power. We're talking about the power of God here. We have established before that the first prophet of power is that your sonship is confirmed. The all-powerful God cannot give birth to impotent children. So your sonship is confirmed when you start manifesting power. That's the first prophet. Romans 1 verse 4 said Jesus was declared, was confirmed to be the child of God or the son of God with power. He was confirmed. He was declared to be the son of God with power. So if you don't have power, your sonship as a child of God is questionable. So power authenticates your sonship in Christ. If you are a son or a daughter of God, it is confirmed by power. The endless expectation of creation, they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Romans 8, 19. So to manifest your sonship to this world, you need power. So that's the first prophet of power. We, we have already established that. Number two, we have victory over enemies and the forces of wickedness. You cannot have victory over the enemy, over the forces of wickedness without power. The Bible said the entire world lies in wickedness, First John chapter 5 and verse 19. We know we are God, but the entire world lies in wickedness. So there is wickedness in the world, and the Bible says that it takes power to trample on all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. So if you don't want to be a victim of the enemy, a victim of the wickedness of this world, then you must manifest power. Look up here. A man I knew when we in the church I got born again. The wife owns a school at the greater, and the man who at the time was working in Shell. Stumbled into this church some days back crying. He said he has three children. So you know him. Was in your church. Yes. Now, the man said, I have three children, two boys and a girl. And he says the two boys, year two, year three, university. Normal children. Woke up one day and the two sons became investors. An old man invested all that you have on 20 children, and, and they are not mad children, never seen children. They are doing well in the university. Just woke up one day, two boys, only sons, became in the side. They like this. They are taking the children everywhere, and they can't be off. They stumble here, shedding tears. We are living in a wicked world. That is his hope. That is his future. And somebody may have stayed somewhere and say, ah, who is this man to have that way? Who is this man to have children in university? And just blow it. The, the, the money power that to waste the children. You can't survive in this world without power. Helplessly crying. Looking for help. So if you must not be a victim of the enemy, victim of this wicked world, you need power. Stop going to church if you will, will not pray for power. Stop carrying titles that have no power back up. So you don't become a victim of wickedness, a victim of the enemy. We need power. Number three, we said that if you must, you must be a child of God to rescue the afflicted of the day of the earth, you need power. 
That's a top prophet of power to rescue you. They are afflicted of the of, of the earth. People are being afflicted in our very presence, and we are helpless. Nothing is as painful as a mother whose child is afflicted and she is helpless. Nothing is as painful as a father whose child is afflicted. He lacks power to help. He takes power to rescue the afflicted of the world. Hello? I was reading a testimony this morning on our church platform and, and, and I was full of joy. A child that was born normal, suddenly a clock was missing. And then suddenly the child started bleeding. Suddenly, some bad spots started appearing in the ankle of the child. One year, child can stand. One year, child cannot crawl. One day, child cannot walk. One year and six months, they have been to hospital. And after everything, after two years, they brought the child to church. And prayers were offered. The boy was anointed on this altar. Two days later, bleeding stop. The spot disappeared. Less than seven days, the child started walking on his own. The testimony was shared on this water. To rescue the afflicted of the earth. People that are being afflicted, you need power. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing and delivering all that were praised of the devil. Jesus was able to help the helpless because of power. So every child of God is a savior just like Jesus is a savior. In Obadiah 1 21, the Bible said that Savior shall arise from Mount Zion. Savior shall arise from Mount Zion. In the calendar of God, you are not the afflicted. You are the one to rescue the afflicted. I say you are not the afflicted. You are the one to rescue who? The afflicted. Jesus in John 14 verse 12, he said, The work that I did shall you do. And greater works shall you do also. So we are the ones to do the works of Jesus. What did Jesus do? To rescue the afflicted of the, of, of the earth. A woman shared a testimony, I think, in the top of first service on, 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 on Sunday to the glory of God. We are having Holy Ghost worship. And I saw that child with God. Brought the child out. I said, cause this devil to die. She said they have already made plans to go for surgery. It was prevented because of COVID-19. So they were waiting for COVID-19 to subside so they can go for surgery. And suddenly the coin that disappeared. The afflicted of the earth can only be rescued by power. Lift your right hand wherever you are. I prophesy that as God is empowering people, you shall be also. I say you shall be empowered also. I say you shall be empowered also. I say you shall be empowered also. Say after me, say by the power of God, I shall rescue the afflicted of the earth. Say I shall rescue the afflicted of the earth. What that means is that you are not supposed to be afflicted. Stand to your feet. Whatever makes you belong to the afflicted, I command the affliction on your life to die. To die. To die. To die. A prisoner cannot stand well for another person. Only the rescued can be an anointed to rescue others. Everyone at the reach of my voice, I prophesy by the power of God, the affliction on your life dies now. I say it dies now. I say it dies now. Please be seated. Number four, the prophet of power is effective kingdom assignment. We are saved so we can serve. But you can't serve without the Spirit's power. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Luke 22, 49, Jesus Christ said, don't be in a hurry to go and preach. Don't be in a hurry to go and serve me. He said, tarry in Jerusalem until you be endued with power. Until you be endued with power. Until you be endued with power. Spiritual service can only be done with spiritual power. I don't know how many persons were challenged during last week's convention, especially with the choir administration. 
I felt a special anointing that I don't feel in most of the main choir ministration through the mouth of people. Service is not entertainment, it is called ministration. And to minister effectively, you need the power of God. Pastor, he had never shared a story. It was a public function, a, a, a secular function that people all over the world attended. And a man who was skillful stood up and sang Psalms 23 as his presentation in that secular compound. And he had rehearsed it well. It was meticulously presented, excellently presented, and people clapped, and people clapped, and people clapped. And there was an old man, a Christian with power, who stood up. As it says, we still have more time. I want to sing Psalm 23. And they said, okay, we have more time for entertainment. And they gave him the microphone. And he began to sing Psalm 23. The same lyrics that the expert sang was the same lyrics that the old man sang. By the time the old man finished singing, some people were falling on that mountain. Some people were shedding tears. Some people were on the floor. The atmosphere of the house changed. We are not called to give oratory expert speech. We are called to emit power. It is not only grammar. Grammar without power will make people angry. Effective service can only be rendered by the power of God. After all your excellent preparation, who can with power? After all your skill acquisition, cooking with power, evangelism without power cannot produce results. Anything you do without power cannot produce results. So for effective ministration, we need power, we need power, we need power. Capital. Power get short message on the day of Pentecost. 3,000. Praise, please, whatever you acquire, Add power to it. If it is in this kingdom, you can't effectively carry out assignment without power. Number what now? Number five, profit of power to escape shame. We said that you can't carry power and be embarrassed at the same time. You cannot carry power and be disgraced successful. Power exempts you from living a glorious lifestyle. Psalm 63 verse 2. When you see the power of God, you will see the glory of God. The power of God goes in the direction, but the glory of God flows in the direction of the power of God. If you want your salvation to be beautiful, to be glorified, to be dignified, to be colorful, then you need power. Hello. Lift your right hand. Everything that is trying to bring shame. Ashes to your salvation. I command it to expire by the power of God in the name of Jesus. We are born again to be glorified. Romans 8 verse 6. We are born again to be glorified. Those he called, those are the people he justified. Those he justified, the Bible said, those are the people he glorified. We are born again to be glorified and not to be put to shame. You won't be disgraced this year. Whoever is preparing shame for you, I prophesy, shame shall baptize them. I say disgrace shall they baptize them. Whoever is planning to embarrass you, let it backfire on them. Let it backfire on them. I prophesy by the power coming, you shall escape shame. Your family shall escape shame. Your business shall escape shame. Your career shall escape shame. I prophesy every impending shame. Let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. Number six, why do we need power? To surmount impossibilities. Power suspends natural laws and protocols. There are things that naturally is called impossible. If you must surmount those impossibilities and live in a realm of possibility, especially in matters that they call impossible, you must you must you must possess power. Hello. A new 134 to 37. An angel appeared to Mary and said, You'll be pregnant. And Mary said, I'm a virgin. 
So it's naturally impossible for virgins to carry pregnancy. And the angel said, Don't bother. I will tell you how this thing will happen. He said, The power of the highest shall overshadow you. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. And that which shall be born in you shall be called the Holy of the Lord. And in verse 37, he said, For nothing, nothing, nothing shall be impossible with God. So, natural law of conception was bypassed. Natural protocol of conception was bypassed. What men call a natural impossibility bow to the power of God. When you carry power, you bypass natural protocols, natural laws, natural processes. You bypass them. It is lifted up for the impossible to be possible in your life. You will be a lawbreaker. Amen. I, like I said you will be a lawbreaker. There are things that they call impossible in your family. Can anything good come out of nothing? It was a natural impossibility for something good to come out of Nazareth. It was called an impossible case. Nazareth cannot produce anything good. Everything from Nazareth must be bad, must be ugly. But when power arrives, there is to be changed. I prophesy in your life. Every bad story is changing in the name of Jesus. Amen. God shall bypass natural laws for your sake. Amen. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. You want share a testimony, complete testimony. Are you pregnancy and they confirm medically that the baby is there? The equipment can die. Madam, go through surgery. Let's bring out the dead baby. And prayer was offered. Power entered inside. By the time they opened to remove a dead baby, they saw a baby intact, normal, breathing, smiling. Natural law of the equipment, when it is confirmed, is final, was reversed. Thank you, your I prophesy as you lead me here, whatever is called natural impossibility, the power of God shall make it possible. The power of God shall make it possible. The power of God shall make it possible. Somebody shall be still possible. Say it again, say it's still possible. Say it again, say it's still possible. By the power of God, shout the living amen. amen. Number seven, the prophet of power. That's what we suffer today. It provokes human influence. Human influence provokes human influence. Human influence. What that means is that it influences people in your favor. As far as the person is a human being, when you start manifesting the power of God, if that person is needed in God's promises, in God's prophecies for you, the power of God in your life influences the person in your favor. That's what I call human influence. For instance, a lady carries power and there is a man ordained by God to marry you and the man is stubborn. When you hit power, power influences the man to beg you to accept to marry him. You get to a company, the boss said no, everybody said no, there is no vacancy and you carry power. That power will touch the man to reverse and create space for you. It provokes human influence. If you're hearing me shout at me, Psalm 110, Human influence. Can we read 1, 3, 110, 1, 2, and 3? He said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies. Thy what? Thy footstool. Verse 2. He said, The Lord shall send forth. Just send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. Verse 3, that's where I'm going. He said, Thy people, they was say thy people. The word thy people there means people that belong to your destiny. Your destiny help passing Christ. People that are hello. I was talking to a pastor. I said, every minister has his masses, has his message, has his mantle. He has his people. He has his message. He has his mantle. What moves your people to come to like you, to gather to hear you, is that power. 
Yet thy people, you were not supposed to be alone. In business, you're not supposed to be alone. In family, you are not supposed to be alone. There are people that before you were born, they are called your people. They are your destiny helper. They, are, they belong to your clique, to your class. If you don't carry power, you can magnet them. He said, Thy people shall be willing. They shall align in the day of his power. Power compels goodwill. Are you hearing me now? Somebody just sees you like That's power. Compels goodwill, compels favor, compels the right association. Thy people shall be willing in the day of his power. Genesis 32 28. This is what the angel told Jacob. Maybe you understand it better. This is what the angel told Jacob. Genesis 32 verse 28. Everybody read what it go. And he said, Thy name shall no more shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has that power with who? And with who? And you are prepared. The moment Jacob encountered power with God, the heart of Esau that was waiting to kill him was changed in his favor. The power he had with God influences Esau's heart in his favor. Esau was waiting with 400 men to kill him, to revenge him. He was waiting at the entrance of the city. And Jacob said, I need power. If Esau must not kill me, the power of God can turn an enemy to become a friend. He said, You have power with God and with who? And with men. So, as soon as he secured power with God, the man that needed to give him passage back to his homeland, but back to his place of nativity, was the one that liked him. As soon as he saw, saw Jacob, all the anger in the heart disappeared. They hugged one another, and he saw went up. Instead of killing Jacob, he said, My, my brother, embrace him. Power influenced his soul. In the favor of Jacob, stand to your feet. Whoever matters to your destiny, as power lands on your head, may they begin to dream your dreams. May they begin to see your vision. May their heart be torn in your favor. 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 Somebody shall by power. My people shall be willing. My people shall be willing. Can I hear you say, "Living Amen"? What is the price of now? Can you be working in an office and your boss is listing out names of people to sign and he's, he's joining your name there because he doesn't like your face? The day you carry power, he will start seeing your face in the place and start liking you by force. And instead of sacking you, he will promote you. That's what power does. Hello? Except God has a better job for you. You are getting me shot here. here. Price of power. We said number one is salvation. You're not born again, forget about the power of God. Number two, we said is hunger. Hunger. The prophet is to provoke your hunger. When you see what you stand to gain with the power of God, it's to make you hungry. It's to make you have passion. It is hunger and passion that is a magnet and a trigger for the power of God. And we said also that you can show God you are hungry by maintaining your first works. Maintaining your first works and your first love is a proof that you are hungry. When people are hungry, hello. The first way you know that you are hungry and thirsty for God is that you maintain your first word, your first words, and your first love. Hungry people don't say in those days, I used to fast. In those days, I used to pray. In those days, I used to worship. In those days, hungry people are not people of yesterday. They are people of doing the same thing daily. If you have not been born again, there's what we call first love. And first love is the reason for first works. 
Some of you also shall be there when you saw it. And they are the one of 90 something years. Still singing in the choir with what? She began singing at a very tender age, and she was still singing till over 90. There are people who say, In those days, when I need to sing in the choir, and you are still a child, who bewitch you? That you began in the spirit, you want to end in the flesh. Revelation 2, verse 4 and 5. How do you know you're hungry for God's power? You maintain your faith works. If you used to fast, you are still fasting. If you used to worship, you are still worshiping. If you used to pray, you are still praying. If you used to go for evangelism, you are still going for evangelism. Are you there in Revelation 2, verse 4 and 5? Then nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. He said, because thou hast left thy what? First love. If you read from verse 1, verse 5, he said, Nevertheless, he said, Remember therefore from whence thou hast fallen. The day you stop your first works, you are a backslider. He said, Remember where you are fallen and repent and do the first works. First love maintains first works. He said, Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place. Meaning you lose your place. Except you repent. One of the signs of losing your first love is when you become a critic. In verses 1 to 4. Because if you are still maintaining your first works and your first love, you wouldn't have time to supervise somebody else. That you have eyes to supervise somebody else and become a judge to somebody else is a sign you have left your first love. Please remember, if you have ever had first love, and you were doing first works, you didn't have time for gossips. Revelation 2, let's read 1 to 1. Let's read very fast. Revelation chapter 2, 1 to 3. Let's read verse 1 to 3. Everybody read 1 to 3. Go on to the angel of the church of Ephesus, right? These things say in he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Let's read verse 2. Everybody read 1 to 3. Go. It's I know thy works. And thy labor and thy precious, and how thou canst not be a thing which are evil. That means you can't stand wicked people, you can't stand people that are evil, you, you talk against them, you rebel against them. It is right, but it's a sign of a bad slide. Read the next one. He said, And thou hast tried them, we say they are apostles and are not. And I found them liars. You know every brother that is fake. You know every sister that is fake. You know every church that is fake. You know every man of God that is fake. You know everybody that are truth and the ones that are liars. That's a sign you are passing. Read verse 3. He said, And has born and has patient, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Verse 4. He said, Nevertheless. Notwithstanding all these good qualities, he said, I have something against you. You are a backslider because if you are not a backslider, you won't have time to judge another person. You know, if you study your Bible, so many things you do, you won't do them. You know that this one is a fake brother. You know that this one is a fake sister. You know that this one is a fake apostle. You know that this one is a living church. You know that all what you discuss is other people. God said those things are right, but I have something against you. You can't carry power becoming a busybody in other men's affairs. Who employed you as a judge against another man's servant? 30 minutes you would have used to do your private devotion, you would have used to pray and fast, you are engaging in other matters. They look very good, but Satan has softly moved you from the way of power. After a while, you shake yourself like Samson, and you don't know that God has departed from you. First law, first works, that's a sign that you are hungry. You don't have time to waste. Number two, how do you maintain your hunger? Be inspired by the exploit of others. Don't explain away miracles when God uses other people and say it can happen to anybody. If it can happen to anybody, why has it not happened to you? Don't explain away the exploit of others. They be inspired by the exploit of others. Either in the Bible or in contemporary times. Hello? Hello? If I'm a pastor 
and I see people that God uses, I should be inspired. Hello, I should be what is inspired to be used like them also and not talk down and talk against and explain away the miracle like if it is cheap. You are me shine again. It costs God power to perform a miracle, but it will cost a man price to pay to bring down that power. If a price is not paid, then power for miracle would have been in the street. Anybody would have would have would have would have entered and then have it. You see power in the church, people are paying the price. The power in the person's life, prices are being paid. Be inspired by that price, by those miracles, and see how God can use you the same. And don't explain it away. Your head will be shut again. Oh, if your head will be shut again. That's how to maintain your what? Hunger. Amen. Amen. Somebody in your yard is a ordinary brother. And then somebody died and say you are never in the yard pray that the person came back to life. Don't explain away that miracle and say we don't know what is using. It's strange. It's an ordinary brother like me. It's an ordinary sister like me. How come God is using him and he's not using me? Let that miracle provoke and inspire you to become more hungry. And not to talk it down. You hear me shall I hear? No, there are people if I was talking to a man. He was asking me some questions and I told him a frank answer. I said, sir, I'm a, a pastor, I'm not a prophet. If I could be a prophet tomorrow, only God knows I, I am not a prophet. And what a prophet does in his prophetic office, a pastor won't understand and can't explain it. You heard me shout again. A pastor won't what? Understand. It is different office. A chemistry teacher cannot rebuke a biological teacher. It is not the same subject. Do you understand what I'm telling you now? We have different offices. I said, I go and ask a prophet. He has an answer. I don't have an answer. I, even with some people, they would have criticized the prophetic office. That you can't prophesy doesn't mean that all prophets are fake. It's an office. What I do is I magnify my work, my own office, and I salute the office of other people. If somebody else is being used, the challenge, especially if it's an ordinary brother without a title, the challenge to become more hungry. If another pastor is being used, the challenge by that pastor's ministry to become more what? Hungry. Father, you are not a pastor God. Whatever you're doing with this pastor, with this church, do it also with me. Okay. Number three, how to show God you are hungry is that you must review your visions and dreams of impact. Review your vision. Do you want God to use you? Are, are there certain things God told you is going to do through your life? Is going to do with your life? Review your vision and review your dream of impact. What do you want to be in life? Every time you carry your vision book, your dream book, and start examining them and start reviewing them, it will provoke you to hunger. I remember the day I had a vision. I was in a crusade field and I saw people on the wheelchair in front and I carried them from the wheelchair, stand up, and they stood up four, five, six, seven, and they dropped their clutches and their wheelchair. When I see my vision book and I see where I am today to pray to hungry me, because where I am is very far from where I saw. So if you don't have a vision, you wouldn't be motivated to show God hunger. Vision people are hungry people. Okay, let me shout I hear you. If you don't have a vision, develop one. Declare one in the presence of God. Your hunger will be refreshed, refueled, refired. When you have vision and you review your vision book, what do you want to be in life? Is it only to make money and get married and have children and that's the end? I mean visions of impact. What God will do in your life through you or in the life of God that's through you. What God will do in a church, in a family, in a society, in a generation through you. If you pray, it will make you hungry. It will refuel your passion for hunger. And then, number four, how periodic personal retreats. Periodic personal or group retreats. 
check up once in a while, three days. Or like Holy Ghost from shop. Shut down your phone. Uninterrupted. Undistracted. And settle down with God. That only people that have hunger for power can shut down every other activity to stay with God. And Jacob was left alone. That is how to show God you're hungry. And Jacob was left alone. Have periodic time of retreat. Either in your house, lock yourself inside for 24 hours. Don't see the sun. Stay with God. It's a proof that you are hungry. And you can't come back from that retreat. <laughs> you can't come back normal. Hello? You can't come back normal. When Moses came back from such retreat, his face changed. That human being could not look at his face. A personal or group retreat is a time to change levels in the spirit. You go from January to December, no personal retreat. No wonder there is no hunger in your spirit. Hello? If you drive a car, won't you be welcome? Thank you. Even a club, depending on the distance they go, they stop by some 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 nations to be fuel. Are you understanding me? Don't just be driving like that without be fuel. Personal retreat, group retreat, you must maintain it from time to time. It's a sign that you're hungry. Number three, how do you show God that you're hungry? Number one, how do you show God that you need power? Number one is born again. Number two, you must be hungry. Number three is that you must be a word addict. To qualify for God's power, number one, be born again. Number two, be hungry. And I just explained how to show God you're hungry. You maintain your first words and so on and so forth. Number three, how do you assess God's power? What price do you pay for God's power? Number three, be a word addict. The power of God flows in and through the word of God. The power of God flows in and through the word of God. So when you stay in the word of God, when you stay with the word of God, you are staying in the power of God. The more of the word of God you have in you and with you determines the level of the power of God you will command. <laughs> Men of the world are men of power. Show me your word intake. I can show you the power intake in your life. If you increase your word base, you will increase your power base. More of God's word, more of power. So if you want to be powerful, you must be wordful. If you want to be very powerful, be very wordful. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4. He said, where the word of a king is, that is where power is. If the word of a king, the word of Jesus, the word of God is in your spirit, then you must be full of power in your spirit. If the word of God is in your mouth, then your mouth will be full of power. Where the word of God is, there is power. Do you have the word in you or you only have it in your Bible? If you have it in your Bible, then power is in the Bible. If you have it inside of you, then power is inside of you. Hebrews 4 verse 4. He said the word of God is quick. The next word is powerful. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God is powerful. Why? Four. Matthew 22 and in verse 29, Jesus Christ said, You are acting in error because you don't know the scriptures. You don't know the power of God. To know the scriptures is to know the power of God. Ignorance of the scripture is bankruptcy of God's power. How many people know the world? One of the things I'll be teaching next week to summarize. Our oh, dynamics on air teaching for this month is that if you don't have the word of God in you, your voc vocabulary in tongues is empty. There are people that speak in tongues and demons slap them, and there are people that speak in tongues and demons run away. It is the content of your spirit. Speaking in tongues without with an empty spirit, void of the word of God, produce no result. 
So it's first and foremost the word of God in you. If you don't know the scriptures, you will not carry the power of God. Because the power of God is like a wire and a current flowing through the wire. The word of God, the power of God flows through the word of God. Word of God is a coded wire, and then the power of God is the electric wire or electric current that flows through the coded wire. One cannot exist without the other. If you want to be powerful, how much scriptures do you swallow away? Are you intentional about Bible study just to eat it? The more of the word of God you eat, the more powerful you become in your spirit. The more powerful you become in your spirit. How much time do you give to the study of the word of God? This generation loves every other fantasy in church, entertainment in church. But when it is time for serious study of the word of God, you won't give attention to it. You may be there, but you don't give attention to it. So the word of God flows in the direction of the power of God, flows in the direction of the word of God. My advice to you is have a daily schedule of Bible study. Don't leave your Christian life to chance. Don't just read it, meditate on it. Because it is not in the reading that you find power. It is in the meditation that you find power. Hello. Hello. Nowadays you have Bible on your phone. If you don't have Bible on your phone, your phone is incomplete. On your way to work, you can read five chapters. I mean, I mean on your way to work. On your way coming back, you can read two chapters. Just with your phone. If you are serious. That time that you spend in the taxi, in the bus, the joining useless discussion of, of Manchester United, useless discussion of Biafra, useless discussion of APC and PDP, you can use that time to discuss with God in the Bible. Your discussion, what has it changed in your life? That word would have changed your life. Because it would have brought about the power that would produce change. A Christian adventure, very important. Can I shock you? Satan is targeting your powerlessness because if you are powerless, he will consistently rule over you. But from this service, power is changing hands. Stand up and let's pray. Power is changing hands. If you are a pastor, don't study to preach. The food you cook for others don't nourish you, it is the one you eat. Do you hear me now? Don't study to do what? Preach. If you are a leader, don't study to preach. The one you cook for somebody else can nourish you. It is the one you eat for yourself that does what? Nourish you. Don't only open Bible when you want to speak, when you want to preach. Let there be a routine of personal Bible study. Just tell yourself, I finished reading the book of Mark, and you have marked your Bible. If I see your Bible, I know how serious one. There are some people that their Bible is very clean. There's no way God will not be talking to you when you're right, when you're reading your Bible. You should be marking things and writing things. Hello. So going through your Bible is opening yourself for the power of God to go through you. How many of you will put what you are ready to walk? Hello. How do you go for power number one? You must be born again. When you're born again, the kingdom of God is born where? Within you. And that kingdom is not in world, it is in what? Power. Number two. Is a magnet of power. Don't be satisfied yesterday. That God used you yesterday doesn't design guarantee we use you today. Daily hunger. Daily what? Daily hunger. That you get yesterday doesn't mean you wouldn't be hungry today. Am I correct? So you should be hungry daily. And then number three is what? Addict. Then what's the addict? Addict is a is a way a, 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 a secular word. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a drug addict. When someone is a drug addict, it doesn't mean marking present on a daily basis. Whether he has money or not, he must clear time. Alcoholic addict, he must find alcohol by all means. What you are addicted to, you make plan for. He a what addict. And when you can't find the word of God around, you look like a criminal. And then you go in there, 
without scriptures in your spirit. When you become a word man, then power will flow. Say amen to that. Lift your hands up. Say fire. Thank you for the revelation of your word to me in this time. Open your mind and give your mind. Open your mind. I'm beginning to thank the Lord. Thank you for the revelation of your word to me in this service. Lift your voices, everybody online. Open your mind and begin to appreciate God for the revelation of his word to you tonight. Wherever you are online, please, if you have a testimony online on ground, please step outside and share your testimony. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We reference you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for the revelation of your word. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands up. Say, Holy Spirit, inspire me for the right action as a result of today's message. Inspire me. Inspire me towards the right action as a result of this message. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Inspire me towards the right action as a result of today's message. Open your mouth and pray. Inspire me towards the right action as a result of today's message. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Inspire me towards the right action. Inspire me toward the right action. The action of daily hunger. The action of daily hunger. Action of daily study of your word. Matabasute abasata. Embra sute gamasanta labasuke. Embra shuka basanta lagadu zemba hantaraba. Embra sute ramashakatadia. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost. You are. The custodian of God's power. Overshadow me with your power. Let natural impossibility be possible. Let natural protocols be suspended. Say amen to that. I want that prayer point time. Some time ago, one of our sisters in church came to church newly and heard another woman share testimony that she was in labor she didn't know. She, she put to bed, she didn't know there was something. She said she mocked. Is this one not get anything to say? He just carry my God. How can you be in labor and deliver a baby without pain? And she didn't know that God had her. Suddenly she became pregnant. And she didn't want to be that pain. That was when she apologized to her. She made me hear me. That was when she stood public and said, Anything is possible. Natural laws can be suspended. Say, Holy Ghost! <laughs> Shout it loud, say Holy Ghost! Natural law is that what you plant is what you have. Can you withdraw money if you didn't put it in the bank? The power can suspend that money. But you can sign the check and cash money like you did in the post. Lift your hands to heaven and say Holy Ghost. You are the custodian of God's power. Overshadow me with your power. Let natural laws and protocols. Let the impossible be possible in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer for yourself. Let natural laws and protocols be suspended. Let the natural impossible. Let it be possible in my life, in my family, in my health, in my career. Wherever you are, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to Jesus in this service. Let the naturally impossible, let natural laws and protocol, let it be suspended in my life, in my career, in my destiny. Open your mouth and talk to Jesus. Can you pray? People online, can you pray? Natural impossibility. They say sickle cell cannot change. It is permanent. They say that sickness cannot change. It is permanent. They are liars. Let every natural impossibility 
let it be made possible. Natural laws and protocol, let it be suspended by the power of God, 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 by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you intensify your prayers, the Holy Ghost? Endure me with your power. And let my people all over the world be influenced in my field. Let my people all over the world be influenced in my favor. 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 Everybody say my people. Yes, there are people meant for your business. There are people meant for your destiny. Everybody was not created for you. So if you see people that don't like you, don't bother about them. There are more people that like you. They will not mean to like you. You are getting me shot at you. They will not mean. It was not designed. They don't have the capacity. I was telling one day the Bible says that when they when the way of a man pleases the Lord, he will make all his work to be at work. Let me ask you, was the enemies of Jesus at peace with him? Was his ways pleasing before the Lord? For oh, Was Jesus' ways pleasing before the Lord? When all his enemies at peace with him, they are enemies that are not de that are determined by God never to be at peace with him. That does not mean that your ways does not please the Lord. That's why when you read them, just don't interpret them at the surface. Some enemies, if they are at peace with you, they will kill you before your time. So God determined that some people will never be at peace with you. So the prayer point tonight is your people. They will say your people. In that company, there are people that are your people. Everybody cannot be your people. In that year, there are people that are your people. Everyone cannot be your people. Those are the ones that God must influence in your world. If they need to sign a check, they must sign by force. If they need to open their mouth and recommend you, they must recommend you by force. I don't even talk it to somebody. If they need to hand over that house, they will hand it over by force. Somebody will receive a miracle you didn't level for. Can I hear your amen with the voice of thunder? Lift your hands to heaven. Are you ready to pray the prayer? Say, Holy Ghost, endure me with your power and let my people all over the world be influenced in my favor. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Endure me with your power and let my people all over the world be influenced in my favor. Open your mouth and pray. My people all over the world. The ones that matter to my destiny as ordained by God, as predestined by God, as ordained by God before the foundation of the war. Let them be influenced in my favor. 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 My people, let them be influenced in my favor. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? 
Mashaka basata ya basenta lama, basata ya basenta le masata ya, ebre basota ya basaka tanta la baseketia, ebre mananda la basaka tala magazeketia, ebre matanda la basaka tala magazetia. Let them be influenced in my favor. 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 By your power, influence them in my favor. Influence them in my favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. This one is outside the syllabus of today. This one is Rema. Everybody say Rema. Rema is God's instruction for the now. The Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, there are people that are only growing, or the only thing that is growing in their life is age. He said, my power will break down James. I wrote it down on my phone. I just said it for my phone. He said, the only thing growing in their life is what? Wisdom is not growing. Money is not growing. Physically, they are not growing. Business is not growing. Every year after year, the only thing growing in their life is what? It, it ends today. I am not sent for everybody, but there's somebody that after today, every month you shall record major growth. I say major progress, major additions and multiplication. The yoke of no growth dies today. 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 If you're already growing, you can also add your name there and say, Father, I need more. Lift up your hands, say, Father. Advertise your power in my life. Say in love, say, Father. Advertise your power in my life, in my spiritual life, in my financial life. In my physical life, whatever is not growing, apart from my edge, by your power, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Please, before you pray the prayer, maybe I'll write the prayer point. I don't know whether this is okay, but it's here. This is okay. Man called me and said, Many of you heard the testimony. The sister who stays in another set had a pregnancy. And they said the baby was too small. I had to be conducted surgery or something. And I prayed for the baby. I think under 24 hours, the baby grew. From 1.1? 0.9 to 2.9. The baby grew from 0.9 to 2.9 after 24. Medically, it cannot be explained. I don't know if it's a job. Medically, it cannot be explained. There is nothing that can grow, including your, your, your legs can grow. Anything that was not growing by the power of God, it shall begin to grow in the name of Jesus. Many of you come to church, you don't hear testimony. Even if you hear, you forget. Because testimony is a pointer to what God can do for you tomorrow. The baby grew, even me, I shock. Doctors can explain under 24 hours, zero point to two point, and the baby was given the baby. Lift up your hands. Where is the prayer point? I want you to take this prayer point in the next four, four minutes. Say, Father, I got ties of power in my life. Whatever is not going in my life, let it grow now by your power. By your power, let my wisdom grow, let my anointing grow, let my customer grow, let my favor grow. Every money in my hand, let it begin to grow, let everything begin to grow. Not only my edge, by your power, advertise your power, let everything grow. Ebasata raba shakata, open your mouth and pray the prayer. Lebla shata rama, open your mouth and pray. It's only no bashakata, yamala masata. Father, my money must grow. My customer must grow. My favor must grow. I must grow. My accommodation must grow. Let my Santa upon your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Father, advertise your power. Advertise your power. Let my shakata rema sentelia. 
on them and take it whatever is not growing that is only my age that is growing by your power let it begin to grow mention what must grow your wisdom must grow your anointing must grow your favor must grow your customers must grow your helpers must grow Eka Raba Shakata Lema Lapa Geta Masakata Lema Sete Epe Kete Lema Baba Shakata I must grow by your power 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 And go Raba Baba Raba Shakata And the Lama Mama Shakata And Blakata Lama Baba And the Lama Baba Kata Lia La Prakata Lama Kata La Prakata Raba I must grow. In the name of Jesus. If I be a man of God and God spoke to my ears, labor soon then it is compulsory that you will find yourself at a higher level after that. Lift your right hand and say, Power of God, by the Holy Ghost, overshadow me, locate the roots of anything that makes me age at the same stage. The power of God by the Holy Ghost overshadow me now. Locate the roots of anything that makes me age at the same stage. Kill it now. Why you appreciate God for life every birthday? There should, there should be something to show. Not aging at the same stage of life. Age is better than the same room. It's better than the same salary. It's better than the same amount of money. It's been nothing was added, only age. It's not right. I change it today. Mark my word. Even if your birthday is next week, God will increase you in the name of Jesus. I say God will increase you in the name of Jesus. I say God will increase you and make you grow. Will 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 make you grow. Achievement will follow new levels of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I am not finished the prayer. Please, many of you was a prayer. But while they are bringing the prayer point, New chapter two, I think verse fifty six. The Bible says, "As Jesus increases, He was also increasing in wisdom and in favor of the Lord." And my stage. The new new age didn't meet him at the same level of wisdom. If you carry my tailor would be so into marriage, you will kill the marriage with your hand. You must grow in wisdom as a bat, as a married man. Something must enter your brain different from what you knew when you were a bachelor. If you carry the same level of favor as a bachelor and spinster and enter marriage, you will struggle. Every new age of your life, favor must do what? Increase. Before God and before who? This is scriptures. He must say our what? The Bible says God daily loaded us with what? Benefit. Daily. So every day is supposed to be plus in your life. He doesn't want you stagnated. Anything be in your foundation, be in witches and wizards. By the power of God, they shall die in this service. Can we pray the prayer? Say, power of God, by the Holy Ghost, overshadow me now. Look at the root of anything that makes me age at the same stage and kill it now. 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 Open your mouth and pray the prayer. Kill it now. Kill it now. Kill it now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. It is warfare. Let it die by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 
Let it die. Let it die. Let it die. I cannot age at the same stage. I cannot age at the same stage. I cannot age at the same stage. Year after year, I cannot age at the same level. Let Brenda Rakata, power of God, let Brenda Sotaya. Next year cannot meet me at the same level. Embra Santa Ramadada, Embra Taraba Shakatata, Embra Kata Laba Shakata, Embra Kata Laba Shakatata, 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 Embra Power of God, kill it now. 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 And the rat a rat a cat. And the rat a shaka tata. But the lama mama mama shaka tata. Power of God, kill it now. Let it die by the foundation. 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 Let it die by the root. Let it die by the root. And the rat a shaka. Let it die by the power of God. I command that thing to die. Let that mystery die. Let Kabato Rapa Shakata. Let it die by the root. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you under the grace of heaven. And I vow that God in will be glorified. He will answer my voice for your sake today. Lift your right hand to heaven. If you are not born again, I don't want you to be disconnected because of sin with the prayers I'm about to pray. So I want you to put your, heart in, your hands in your heart quickly while other people's hands are up. Place your hand in your heart now. And say, Jesus, I need you. Save me from sin. I receive you as my Savior. Let your blood wash my sins away and change me. Pray that prayer. Let me tell you the story. When we nearly moved into this place, I've said it before. Somebody called me online. Pray that prayer. You are a sinner. That I'm telling the story to others. He said, Pastor, how long you will have moved to your permanent site? I said, We have moved to a new site. But it cannot be a permanent site. You know where we are going? It's very far. The village, the community, it can't be permanent site. It's a new site. Because every time I expect something new to happen, the Bible says, I will do a new. Even where we are now, God has given us, God has given us by faith. The, the left, the right, the front, the back. It's just a matter of time we will fall the fences. Say amen to that. You will be alive to witness it. Be alive to witness it. Life was created to be dynamic. If you are praying and say, Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I believe in my heart that Jesus is your son. He died for my sins and he was buried for my sins. He went to hell for my sins and you raised him from dead. You raised him from dead. He's alive now. Jesus. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life, forgiveness of sins, by faith, by faith. I confess you as the Lord of my life. Thank you, Father, for I'm born again. I declare, if you are praying a prayer, your sins are forgiven. Grace to live for God. Live with eternity in view. Live above sin. Live in holiness. Receive it now. Your past has just passed away. All things are passed away in your life. 
all things have become new in Jesus' name. Everybody lift up your hands to him. Father, I pray for everyone at the reach of my voice right now. That every demonic stick, every demonic root, every demonic bondage that keeps them at the same level year after year, pulls them backward in certain instances. I command the grip of that yoke. Break. Now in the name of Jesus. Break now in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, let him be breaking loose out of your life. Let it break loose out of your destiny. Break loose out of your career. Break loose out of your business. Break loose out of your finances. Break loose out of your destiny. Let it break loose out of your ministry. I prophesy by the power of God. Go. Let achievement be added to your age. Before your next birthday, let celebration be added to your age. May God expand your bank account. Increase your customers and patronage. Let money enlarge in your heart. Let new new miracles answer to you. In the name of Jesus. Everyone at the reach of my voice are declared by the power of God. Let men that connect to your destiny in Christ. I declare them to be influenced in your direction. The sick are healed. I said the sick are healed. I said the sick are healed. That thing in your left side of the womb biting you biting you painful i declare now let it die 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 that i'm not hitting of your chest blood palpitation your heart is hitting boom, 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 boom. like if something bad wants to happen. I command the evil cloud, a cloud around your house. Let that evil cloud right now be aborted in the name of Jesus. Let the evil backfire, backfire, backfire on the enemy. I command peace be still on your heart. From your head to your toe. Let the power of God want of that sickness. I prophesy. That God's power will pay you a new heart. God's power will remove you from embarrassment. That financial embarrassment you are in now. Seeing a family that is beaten by rain. I don't know what that means. Your properties are outside. You are being beaten by rain like if you don't have any place to go. Right now I speak to that thing I saw in the vision. That heavenly father. Give them a miracle shelter. Between now and Wednesday next week, Father, a house or a shelter covering their shed. Something that it will be traceable to only the hand of God's power. I command it, let it answer to everyone that is in that dilemma. If your amen is four times, it will happen faster. One, two, three, four. In the name of Jesus. Responsibility is a price for greatness. Your guides, your offerings, and your six souls are your covenant responsibility. Bible study in Genesis 2, 822, say why the end of the sick time and sick time and harvest shall not cease. Hallelujah. Remember that towards harvest is time to receive that you can today. With this understanding, package your guys, package your offering, your bow, if you are met, package your financing offering and your wealth offering. If you have brought that in, those offering up for payments. Those worshiping with us online, church and another is on the stream. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful privilege. We give you all the glory, we turn all the honor to you. Thank you for bringing us into your presence with our children in our heart. We bless your holy name, accept our worship, accept our offerings and tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. And bless your tithes and bless your offering. And bless your season and command supernatural increase on your season in the mighty name of Jesus. And if there is any power under heaven, say no to your new habits. Say no to your miracle marriage. Say no to your breakthrough and open doors. I command such power. They destroy in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise you. You shall walk in financial relief. 
in the name of Jesus. That's your own. Testimony time. Testimony time. In Revelation 12 and verse 11, the Bible speaking, it says, and you are killed by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of the testimony. There are testifiers in our midst this evening. As I call on them, please put your hands together as they come forward. Romain is thanking God for a miracle job. He's also thanking God for joining mercies to walk and back from God. This is the name of the Lord, the highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Minister Ernest, please step up. From Mike, from Mike Alvassi. Please step up, sir. Mr. Ernest is thanking God for divine favor. Hallelujah. He said his company shot, he said his name for the training. They just told him to prepare and go for the training. He didn't know what the training entails. So when he went there, after the training, he realized that he was almost the smallest person in position among all that came. He saw um, HODs. He saw directors. It's according to him, he said he was the least of all that came for the training. So after the training, they told him, they told them to go first and prepare for a test the next morning. He, he was not told that they were going to write the test after the training. He was only told to go for the training. So he went and rested. The next day he came back. He said, by the, by the glory of God, after the test, he came out the best. Without preparation, it's here to give all the praise, celebrate God, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. From Michael Bassi. From Michael Bassi is thanking God for the covenant of preservation that is at work in this commission. He said he was carrying fuel from where he is upstairs, downstairs, down fuel the generator. So on his way down, he suddenly slipped and fell. And then he only realized he saw himself sitting down at the foot of the stairs. He didn't know what happened. But to the glory of God, when he checked around, he didn't sustain any injury, he sound and held his head to recover the glory of the Lord. If you have the glory of this testimony, lift your hands and Father, we thank you. Jesus, we reference you for preservation, for promotion. We honor and we give you all the glory. We are not taking it for granted. Thank you because everyone here is implicated for greater testimonies and all the testifiers we permanent their testimonies and qualify them for more testimonies in Jesus' name. Can everybody say a big amen? amen? Holy Ghost workshop for July edition comes up this Saturday, that means next tomorrow, 6 30 a.m. Saturday morning and 6 a.m. Sunday morning. You know what Holy Ghost workshop is all about. It's not denominational program, so you are free to invite hungry souls who are outsiders to come. It's not a normal church program. It's a program for people who are hungry, who want to stay with God, who wants to be changing their lives, something that is stressful to a miracle, and wants to be used by God also. It's not just a self-centered self prayer. It's a prayer to be used by God, a prayer to be changed. Praise God. The, the sister in the choir that shared the testimony that her sons, um, the boy that disappeared from the son, it happened during the Holy Ghost workshop. No, we don't concentrate on miracles. We concentrate to spend time with God. But you cannot sit with God successfully and not be indicated for a miracle. So give the information, send a text message. You can do a design on your, on your page and advertise it. As you do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. This Sunday will be the last workers in training, and then all those that want to be workers can also join. It is it will happen immediately after the fourth service. And not only that you should attend, don't forget the, the assignments that you were given last Sunday. Don't forget to buy a new daughter. Also, make sure if you're buying a new daughter, you will get the notes. Of the previous service, and don't just buy a new job and bring empty lot. Get those things documented and also write down your action plans what you are going to do to implement.
in the things that you have been taught. Please do so. If you also want to be a worker, please let me think it's also very important for you. Make sure you join. All the media department members, apart from marketers, they should just see me at the designs. The youth are preparing for their convention next month. So they are having ongoing rehearsals Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please, if you are a youth and you are single, please ensure that you come for those rehearsals. Identify with the youth ministry, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Tomorrow is evangelism for those who have a chance. Come and join others in church for witness. Make sure you come with your face masks and then you will give us and evangelize and other things to go for evangelism. Praise God. Sunday we have four services. The last service will be healing and deliverance service. The first and the third service is going to be training service for power and the business service for everyone that wants to be a leader. A career person you want to take over in your generation, you come for the second service. I was talking to someone yesterday, I said that we live in a climate. That means this environment, I don't know if it's a demon, don't allow people to appreciate knowledge. You can't rise beyond the level of what you know. You must deliberately go for knowledge on to rise beyond the level of even in business, even in career. One idea you receive. Can just shift your business from one level to another. So if you are here, you are a leader, you are in career in business, even in ministry, be there. Second service is by 7 8, just one hour. And then I see you become a takeover generation in Jesus' name. Please like the church page, comment on the church page, and share the post of the church on your page. Do what party may be, and as you do so, God will bless you. Richly in Jesus' name. We bless tonight. I mark you for life. I mark every property of yours for life. Mark everyone genuinely connected to you for life. No plague will come near your dwelling place. Bad news will never be heard around you in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, anointing for exemption speaks on your behalf. You shall be exempted from anything negative. Amen. We talk about the testimonies for all the prayers we have prayed today. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Please, if you pray the sinner's prayer, make sure you send me a text message. Send a text message to the church line. Those online, your your testimonies are expected also online. Send it through the church email and all the addresses that we broadcasted. Also, we broadcast this particular service on your timeline you can be a blessing to someone surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life you shall go in the hand of the lord forever and ever amen please the media need some desktop they also need some laptops a good one if you are late to do so do so and god will bless you in jesus and a desktop and some laptops god bless you see you tomorrow see you on saturday see you on sunday thank you